some of you, but probably not a lot of you, have heard about Hyenas, a new multiplayer sci-fi FPS from Certain Affinity and published by Sega. Now this game is getting a lot of flack, because people are saying it looks uninspired, it's copying all of the other sci-fi shooters that come out, trying to take over that, you know, PvP first person shooter, sci-fi audience, trying to attract the Apexes, the Call of Duties, the Halos, the Battlefield, whatever else is there for the taking. You know, the market that's there for the money, the thing that's there for the taking. Um, just a, a rinse and repeat kind of uh, product. I got invited to play Hyenas today. Um, I played for about two hours and to my surprise the game is actually good. Um, the marketing for this thing is absolutely abysmal because it is nothing like the marketing. Absolutely nothing. I'm really hoping that the marketing is maybe done on purpose to make it look bad, therefore it gets, you know, spoken about and there's um, YouTube videos on it, there's people talking about it on social media, um, comparing it to these other big names and things for the wrong reasons, but then the gameplay itself makes everybody sway their opinion. I don't know. I believe it's going to be free to play, so if that is their move, it's uh, very smart. Um, so yeah, the game has kind of been pitched as like a PvP, um, 3 versus 3 Battle Royale style Apex kind of game. Um, now, visually and a lot of the characters as well do look a lot like Apex. However, the graphics are more of like a Borderlands cell shaded. And the game is actually more of a PvE than PvP. Now, you do meet real people. But I'd say that the combat between you and NPCs and the combat between you and um, real opponents is like a 90-10 split. You encounter probably three, so that's one team, <laughs> of real opponents um, in every single game you play. I've played five games and I encountered one team in each game. Meanwhile, I probably encountered 50 to 60 NPCs. And I spend 10 minutes against NPCs and two minutes against... Um, PvP like real opponents. Um, so how a game starts is it's you and your team with the bare bones, you know, like an assault rifle and a pistol or something. Um, you have to run around the map and loot. Um, you have to discover different areas, find loot in them, um, activate the zero G areas to get across and things like that. You can fight in zero G as well. Um, kill NPCs that are defending certain areas behind locked doors or just patrolling areas again to just loot up and make yourself more powerful and stuff like that and um, get further on in the map so the map is like um, how do I describe it uh, basically you can escape the environment to win the match that the goal is to um, I believe either e eliminate all of the enemy opponents um, or simply be the first team um, to take all your like loot and you know your your stolen merch is what they call it um, to the end of the level and then you succeed. It's like a it's a race against all the other teams to get to the the end of the map um, where you then I don't know like shuttle off into space or whatever. Um, and it's it's actually yeah it's it's very fun. It's not just let's drop in, let's put these teams of 3 versus 3 versus 3 versus 3 against each other and you know the, there's a, um, a respawn system and you just keep going until you reach a score limit. It's not like that at all and it's not a battle royale. It's it's completely different. Um, I haven't played a game like this before. There's probably others around and it probably is inspired by something. Um, but as somebody who plays games like Halo, Call of Duty, I've played little bits of Battlefield and I used to play Apex, it's very different. I, it, I don't feel like it, it's like those games. Um, and in terms of the gunplay, the gameplay, the mechanics, they all feel really smooth. Out of all the games in Alpha that I've been invited to for the past 12 months, this is the most polished one. Um, <laughs> it's just a shame that the marketing is so bad. Now compare this to a game that recently had an Alpha 2, such as The Finals, uh, which received a huge praise in terms of the marketing material and the videos they're putting out and stuff like that. 
um, but the actual game isn't really performing very well and it feels a bit uninspired. It's just basically Battlefield but with a bit of a sci-fi um, Ready Player One vibe to it. Um, and the mechanics are just not there at all. I played that game and I stopped after 20 minutes because I, I hated it. It was terrible. Especially on controller. It felt awful. Um, but this feels like a polished product. This feels like something that's been in the works for two to three years already and is maybe 12 months out from release. Um, the gunplay is really nice. Um, controller has aim assist built in. The controller works in all the menus. Um, obviously mouse and keyboard works. It's out on Xbox, PlayStation and PC. I'm not sure if it's Epic and Steam or just Steam. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just something different. It's a breath of fresh air to me. Um, and also a key thing I want to point out here is I played five games and out of the five that I played, I didn't win a single match, but I'm still wanting to play more. And I think that alone says something is that the game at its core must be very enjoyable and must be very fun and, you know, must, um, it must work because I'm wanting to play even though I'm not really the best at a game. And it's been a while since I've felt like that about a game. Usually if I play my first two or three matches of a video game and I lose, I get discouraged to play because I feel like it's a waste of my time. Um, but with Hyenas, I'm still wanting to play more. Now if I go on and play 20 matches and lose them all, I might feel a bit discouraged. But the element of PvP in there, where you're constantly getting NPC kills, and you're looting up and you're in a, a race to the end of the map so something other than simply are you better at killing than the enemy team it adds another level of progression it adds another level of um like you know a way to end the game um and another level of just enjoyment entertainment um so i think it it's actually pretty good <laughs> Uh, I think I also maybe slandered the game a bit online when I saw the first trailer and thought, wow, this is just a copy and paste Apex clone or something. Um, but no, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, unfortunately, I'm unable to show gameplay because I signed an NDA to, show, uh, to say that I can't show gameplay today. Um, but I can talk about it and I can show anything that they have previously released online. Um, however, when you launch the game, there is gigantic do not distribute um, watermarks all over your screen that include your gamer tag and other information. Um, so if I was to, yeah, if I was to show gameplay, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Um, I'd be stripped of access and probably like IP address and machine banned from the game or something. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so my advice would be, I, th I think they're going to do probably um, an open test after this. Um, my advice would be to jump in. It's obviously going to be free um, and just give it a go. You've got nothing to lose. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. But if you do, then you're going to be pleasantly surprised, um, I think. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's today's video. Just something a bit different. I felt like it was worth making a video on because it is kind of a, not a hot topic, but um, in its own little bubble, I'd say maybe it is, you know, a, um, a hot topic actually. Um, we'll see how the marketing goes for this game. We'll see how popular it gets. Um, but as far as, you know, um, these pop-up shooters by studios that aren't necessarily like known for making uh, these big franchises and things and have these one-off spin-off games, uh, I'd say I'm, I am, as I said, pleasantly surprised. Certain Affinity is no stranger to shooters. They helped out with Halo and a bunch of other games before, like Gears and stuff. Um, but Sega is uh, Sega's a weird one. Um, yeah, the last Sega shooter game I played was uh, what is it called? Um, he plays a guy called Sam um, Vanquish. That's it. Vanquish is what it was called, and that was really good too. So yeah, <laughs> who knows? Maybe Sega is the future for shooter games. <laughs> who knows? Um, yeah. Uh, that's going to be an end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment below, subscribe. I will probably upload more Hyenas content, uh, but that's going to be obviously when I can post gameplay of the game. So that's probably going to be a few months from now. Um, but I look forward to it. I look forward to playing the, the open builds of the game that I can actually um, distribute material from. So until then, 
I'll see you. Goodbye.